Now, let's come to the second main thing that is about to happen. That is the start of the DV Lottery 2025 interviews. From the 1st of October, these interviews will kick off. And if you are a selectee with a low case number below the cutoff numbers that were placed in the previous visa bulletin, then you need to prepare yourself properly. Get everything that is needed, prepare the enough finances that you need for the interview, get ready. That is the point, just get ready. And as the anthem goes, it is always better to be overly prepared than to be less prepared and be put on to 2-1-G visa refusal or get your visa denied. So get all the necessary documents, the proof documents, get everything and get ready for the interview. I always tell my viewers that keep on going through the past interview experiences. They are all over the website. You can get them throughout my channel, the YouTube channel. You can get them on the website that we have, guidedmein.com. You can browse all over the internet and you will get these interviews. They'll help you reduce the panic. They'll give you the hints. And most importantly, get the mock interviews from your specific embassy or the region. Get the normally asked questions and how they should be answered. But remember, the DV lottery interview is not as hard as you people might take of it. It is just a cheap interview that focuses on the information that you provided on your DS-260. So just compose yourself and arm yourself with all the necessary documents and the interview is as easy as you might not think of. I hope that is clear. All through the channel, I have videos to prepare you for the interviews because there are things that are not mentioned that you'll find them during your interview. So go through my channel, you get all the things that you need to prepare for the interview. And finally, I come to the last object that we're going to discuss on in this video. And that is about the third main thing that is about to happen. And that is the application in the DV Lottery 2026. I hope you have prepared yourself well for this application. Remember, you don't need anything to apply. You don't pay nothing for you to apply. You don't need any document for you to apply. There's nowhere during the application that you're told to submit. But I told you that you might need certain documents when sitting down to place your entry. And these documents are important to help you accurately input all the information about you and your family. And I told you, you might need any document that gives you your personal data or the data of your family member. You will need it so that you can place the correct place of birth for your child and for yourself and for, your for the other derivatives so that you can know the right education that you've gotten through because others tend to forget so that you can get the correct address where you are at the moment you are applying. All this minor information, including inserting incorrect names, you can correct that by having these documents. You put the correct name or names, both yours and your derivatives. And I told you, you might need your birth certificate just for that information. You may need your passport. You may need the derivatives birth certificate, your academic documents, just for the purpose of producing truthful and correct information during the entry. So have you prepared yourself well? The other thing, of course, is about the photos. 
have you prepared the right photos as per the requirements? I have discussed this time and again throughout the channel and I've even taught you on how to get a good photo using your phone. And let me put this that many applicants have taken their photos using their phones and they have gotten selected. So get a good phone with a good camera and get the right photo as per the video that I did some time ago. You can just browse through the channel and get those steps. How to take the correct photo using your phone. So have you gotten the right photo? You can decide to go to a photo studio, but ensure that the photo man or the photo woman or the photographer, whichever name you want to call them, ensure they know the correct dimensioning, the correct features of the TV lottery photo. You might go to a photo studio, but they don't know about that. So you have the correct information about the photo, go with it to the photo shop, to the photo studio for your DV photo. So let's leave this video at that, but I hope you've gotten all the information. And remember, before I conclude, that no matter where you are, no matter whether you had applied and won the DV lottery 2025 or you've never applied, it does not matter the case, you can apply. Even if you are a winner, you can apply again. And that's what I advise because you never know what might happen with the current DV lottery. Even if you never applied, just apply. If you've failed several times, you've never been selected, apply again. Everyone qualifies to apply so long as you meet the minimum qualifications that I've discussed in another video. So thank you guys for watching this video till the end. And I know you've gotten important facets. So apply them and you'll have an easy TV lottery journey. Please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to visit our website www.guidedmein.com to find more information. The link I always provide on the description of every video that I upload. Share with your friends, let them know about this and let's meet in the next video. Thank you.